It is time for us to work on our home page because it's definitely empty. And we would like to have a very beautiful dashboard. And for that, we are going to put charts on them. And we are going to use cards and we are going to continue to use chat and UI components. So if I go to Nivo, remember, we are going to use Nivo. It's a D3 library that is used to make data visualization. So we got a lot of options with it. For instance, we got this beautiful map on the world that we could use to display some elements. And when we pass our mouse here, we can see that we can use the elements. Also here, we got this beautiful graph. And let's say that the first card we would like to have here, it's this element that we got here. So what I would like to do is at first to install Nivo. So on the GitHub, I can find the command. So yarn add at Nivo core Nivo bar, for instance, I'm going to get back. I'm going to stop my server and I'm going to use this Nivo core that we've got here. So here, for instance, we have the definition but I don't want to use the bar, I want to use the Nivo bump. So I'm going to put here Nivo bump instead, and it's going to install to my project the Nivo core that will be used. So once it will be done, we will create a card, and this card will be dedicated to use this element. Okay, so I'm going to type yarn dev, and to work a little bit on this architecture, I'm going to talk to you about how I want to um, put some arch on this project, okay, on this folder. So here I got components. I'm going to create a dedicated folder for cards because I'm going to use these cards directly inside my home page here, okay? So this first card, I'm going to call it general.tsx, okay? Doesn't make any sense for now. Probably I'm going to come back to it, but here it's going to be the first general card. I'm going to type ncomp and here I got my first card. So I'm going to get back and I'm going to go to page and here I'm going to have a specific behavior for this page. So I'm going to come back to it later. But here at first, I'm going to call my general card, which is here. I'm going to delete this element and I'm going to have my card. So what I want to do immediately is to use all the code that I got in here and that I can directly use into my uh, elements. So I'm going just to copy paste, okay, all this code, I'm going to get back and I'm going to just inject instead uh, this whole uh, element directly in here. So we can see that we got a specific behavior. So I'm going to use it here on the top. I'm going to save that. And here we see that we don't get any data. So I need to grab the data. And here I got a lot of data. If I want, I can click on roll the dice. And if I roll the dice, I will get some different uh, uh, specific uh, data um, generated, auto-generated. So I'm going to copy paste also all this code and there's a, a huge part of the code. And there we go. So here, let's say that we are going to receive data as a prop and we are going to return the component, which is here. So I'm going to put the data down here. Of course, this data, it's going to be used uh, as an example, later we will be able to fulfill our own data. So I'm going to type data is equal to this huge object. And actually this huge object, it's supposed to be an array instead of a huge object, a big object. So I'm going to come back to it and I'm going to clean it because otherwise it's messy and we should be good. Okay, we've got the big object, which is here. We need to transform here this into a GSX component, which is the force actually of React. So I'm going to say return and I get my full element here. And we can see here that we've got some command. Make sure parent container have a defined height when using responsive component. Otherwise, height will be zero and no chart will be rendered. So you got to be safe with that. If no chart is rendered, it's probably because you didn't use any height. So I'm going to go down in here and I'm going to use what? I'm going to use my responsive bump that we got here and we need to inject some data. And of course the data is going to come from here for now. Probably later it's going to come from um, either as a props if you want to, or either we are going to fetch the data and get it directly here. Okay, so if I come back and I try to uh, update my page, probably I will get nothing. Why? Because no data has been rendered. So what I want to do 
here is to define some uh, width and height. So I'm going to type widthful and as a height, I'm going to put, for instance, a 400 pixels. And suddenly, look at this, there we go, we have all our element. So be safe here, you need to pass the props and here I'm passing the data props or you can put it directly into uh, uh, the component. But this is really nice, we got a very nice element here. So what I would like to do is to put that into a card. So of course, which is cool, is with Chatien, we've got here a beautiful card that we can use. And this card here has a behavior that is looking a lot like the design we have right now. And this is why we've built this design until now. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to install this component card. And of course, this component card will be very useful in the future because we are going to use it everywhere. So I'm going to come back here, I'm going to stop that, and I'm going to add my component card, and I'm going to wrap this element inside this component card. So here we can see that I got this element here, so I'm going to just get back, and I don't want to put too much code into it. I'm just going to use card, and probably I'm going to wrap it into uh, card content, because I see here that we've got a card content, but I don't necessarily know it yet. So I'm going to just use card instead. And if I come back to it, I should have something wrapped. Uh, so my chart should be uh, wrapped inside the card. And there we go, we can see that the wrap has, the, the chart has been wrapped. So what I would like to do here is probably to put a card content or a card title. So we can see here that we've got a card title. So if I look at the code, here, down here, we can see that we've got card header and card title, so card content. So I'm going to do exactly the same. And I'm going to wrap my element inside of it. So I'm just going to copy paste this. Going down here, and I'm going to use the card content here as a closer at the end. So I will be fine. So card title, card header is missing. I need, of course, to import them. So card header, then card title, and card content card content. Ah, no, I, I already got card content. Okay, so I got everything that I need. Card description. Okay, so I'm going to put card description down here. Card description, and we should be good. So instead of this, I'm going to put here analytics this week. I'm going to put this week. This, uh, these are the results of this week. For instance, this is an example. So when I come back to it, I suddenly got this element. However, the problem is that I didn't put a full width and a full height to here, to this element, and we are good. Okay, the last thing that I want to do is to come back to my page, and here we see that this is the home page. So probably later I will change it. What I want to do is to come back to the layout, and here, remember, on the layout, we've got a grid and we've got a padding left and padding right. So what I would like to do is to wrap this children here into a div and in this div I would like to add some padding to it. So remember one it's four pixels, two it's eight pixels so if I come back we can see that I got some uh, element. So here I'm going to look directly to the padding that we've got and here we can see it's 1.5 so if I go to computed we can see eight. What I would like to do is to have 32 pixels. So basically, I'm supposed to add eight and we've got 32 pixels and probably it's much better. Here we've got something really nice. So we can see that unfortunately, the padding is taking everything. So instead of having this, what we would like to do is to have some calculation on the full width, okay? But before I need to remove this width full that we got here because right now we have hit this. And look at this, suddenly it's fine. We are definitely good on this. So when I come back to it, we can see that we got a very nice padding that will be applied to every page. Then I want to come back here and I would like to create some bento, like some space between elements. So I'm going to create here a grid and grid calls too. And I'm going to wrap inside this grid my general item. So suddenly we've got this. However, the problem, we can see that we've got some eight. So we need to come back to it and probably add more eight to it. And this is going to be a problem. So I'm going to put 
some eight like this. I don't have here um, the need to get the full eight of my element. And suddenly we are good. So we can see that we got this graph, but the graph is looking better with a better eight. And we are good. We've got this very nice element, not very seenable, but that's all right. Okay, so we've got all the bases of our graph here. I'm going to add more cards here. I'm going to fulfill a little bit of space because here it's too little. If I would like to, I could change the whole behavior of my graph, removing some elements, the axis, etc., etc. I can do it if I look at the here on the on the Nivo um, tester. We've got a lot of elements that we can use. You can see here I can play on a lot of elements, the outer padding, etc., etc. And here we see that it's way better, so probably I'm going to use it. This is why I love this library, guys, because it's really easy to use and it can also work on the colors, as you can see, which is really cool. I can work on the lines active, etc., etc. We can custom that later, but now we got the first card of our dashboard. Let's pass to the next step.